tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Maybe you've seen this tutorial of mine where we make a character turn around a corner. We're using a command called key redirect because the character changes his or her direction here. And uh, redirect, if you call up the option box, by default has redirection type, rotation and translation and what we used in the previous tutorial was about the rotation because he just walks around a corner and he doesn't walk up or down anything. You have the alternatives to um, do a translation only to lift him up or down uh, or move him to the right or to the left and uh, both of them. And uh, I asked a question about this command and whether it's legacy or still useful because it's kind of it feels like legacy and in the Maya area forum I got an, a very competent answer which I'll show you in a second so that's the question I asked here in the Maya area which is very useful if you have a question ask it there and you'll get answers pretty straight away from competent people like yourself maybe. Uh, Dino Figuera was answering my question about um, this uh, legacy or current and what the translation locator is good for and then I showed him uh, what I really meant because when I uh, use the translate uh, direct command, redirect command, the character walks down sort of the stairs but you see here in between uh, he does f uh, strange things. This foot is nicely planted on the lower step already while the other one is penetrating the first um, part of the stairs. So uh, and then he walks on continuously very nicely uh, on the second step. So first one is okay, second one is okay, third one is okay but not his right uh, foot his right leg which should stay there for this moment now. So um, I got the answer just today. Now I see what you mean but I guess the tool is not meant for that. Using the redirect node is almost the same of parent constraints to the main control. control. Yes it is. The only difference is that uh, with the redirect um, node you are actually animating the pivot point. Um, so it's a more or less rudimentary uh, tool which is very powerful though if you need basic uh, translations here or rotations. With character animation we should always start out with windows and then settings preferences, preferences, settings in order to change it from linear from centimeters to meters the whole dimension save. When you press A you see the whole grid which looks the same as before but the dim dimensions now are one meter. This is one meter now because the character will arrive in dimensions of one meter. So let's uh, get a character now from the default settings of um, or default installation of Maya. It's in all Maya packages now. Get general editor, content browser and here under motion capture you find several animated characters uh, and I choose the walk number one which I've used previously as well. So the character lands in the scene like this and this is his walk. He walks more or less along a straight line, this line here. In order to get him uh, positioned somewhere else uh, you can move this locator here. This locator is called the walk reference. Uh, for example if you move it up he moves up but this causes certain problems Anyway, uh, we'll select the walk reference. This is uh, what we currently selected here, the top node of the skeleton, which we don't see because it's inside of that skin. That's the skin node and that's the skeleton with, now don't be shocked, lots and lots and lots of joints. Then we go to animation and under key we find redirect. We use the option box in order to make sure that we have rotation and translation which is the default anyway and we apply that. We apply it to the top node of the skeleton 
in case in most cases this would be the hip bone by the way and actually when i open this it's walk hips so that's the hip bone basically apply and close what you see now and uh, what puzzled me first uh, is a locator which is um, basically the same as locator uh, with the rotation only but actually it is different and you can see it right here in the outliner you see that there's a group and the group is called offset rotate control and underneath that rotate control is the translate control I go to the first frame actually I go to frame 30 like a, a little bit more than a second he walks straight and here I set a keyframe for the translate control only and if you see the uh, uh, attribute editor here control A toggle to the by pressing control A again to the channel box because that's uh, so simple and very intuitive now we want him to walk up and um, so we right mouse click here and key selected that sets the translate Y to 0 at frame number 30 and now we want him to go up until frame 120 so we move the slider up now he walks quite a bit up and we set another keyframe here right mouse click keyframe so what the character does now is uh, very interesting because he's not just lifted up he keeps walking As you can imagine, it doesn't work with stairs because one of the f uh, feet always penetrate the ground. He's sort of lifted on a plate, like on a plate or on a on an interesting surface. We would have to co construct that surface in order to lift him up like this. Now he continues walking up there until we give him the next command to lower himself. So let's set a keyframe here. And at the end of the animation, he should be down at zero again. So let's type in zero again um, and key selected. So that's his walk now. He continues walking until frame 225 or so, and then he walks slowly down again until he reaches zero. Now we make him turn in this section here of the animation. So uh, let's set the time slider to 130 and now we need to pick the top node here of our little locator group of the redirection uh, node here. And uh, here we set a keyframe for a, uh, this time rotation in Y. Let's see, up axis is Y. So let's set a key here. And then in this during three or four steps we want him to turn to the right towards us and uh, that's what we do we rotate him it looks a little bit odd because he started here but it will be fixed during the animation actually so let's create another keyframe here so we have two keyframes for the rotate control and this is the animation we have now Now he smoothly turns, I love that turn really, and he walks down until he gets close to us. So it's a very, very good tool for creating basic motions up and down. If you animate the translation in this direction, for example, he will slip and slide. Uh, I show you this effect um, just briefly. Let us. This is the uh, this is the Z -ax axis. So let's set a keyframe here for the Z translate, and then we'll move him or the slider forward, and set another key. So that's what he'll do now. Nicely planted, and now he's sli sliding. And now he's walking all right again. See here. 
So in most cases you would not keyframe the translate X and Z but only the translate Y because he keeps his pace then. Before we split let me point you to a problem here. The tool, the redirect tool is really very basically playing with pivots and uh, I did not take care about the rotational redirection and it only turns out in the rendering because we have a reference to that floor now. You see when he turns now the feet are sliding. Sliding already, sliding again. That's because we have a mixture between translation and rotation and once the rotation is finished the walk is alright. So keep in mind you have to use the rotational redirection like I did in the first tutorial. So you move the locator directly to the rotating foot. And with this problem I leave you alone now. Bye bye.